Hey, welcome everybody to the 40 Finance channel. Rocket stock, let's talk about it. This is a stock that I've owned now for about a year. Got it after the IPO. I was very excited for it. It came in with a relatively fair valuation, which you don't always see on IPOs. Um, I am a Rocket customer. That's where my mortgage currently sits. And obviously with low interest rates and uh, shortage of housing across the United States, I was like, this is a great way to get into the housing market uh, with a company I already know at a fair valuation. However, over the past 12 months or so, Rocket has really tre treaded water and it's actually dipped down from the actual cost basis that I sit at, which is $19.84. So obviously the question here today, is, is there hope for Rocket stock? So we're gonna jump in, do some analysis. I'll share my opinion on where uh, Rocket stock might go from here and whether or not it's worth jumping in today. Reminder as always that my stock picks and projections are just my opinion for your entertainment. However, if you do like stock market analysis like this, going deep on stocks like Rocket, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody for your support. All right, so when you think about Rocket stock, there's three things that you need to know right now. One is speculation that the refinance boom and the housing boom is going to trend downward from here. The market as a whole is assuming that the refinance boom is over and that housing and mortgages, stuff like that, is also gonna see a steady decline over time. So that leads us into point number two with Rocket and why it's stuck in the mud right now. And that is the fact that the projection is for declining sales and earnings. So it's not that Rocket isn't making money and it's not that Rocket's a bad company. It's just when your stock is, is valued at a certain point, no matter what it is, let's just say $1, and the outlook is for slightly less earnings and revenue coming forward in the future, you're going to struggle to see the stock price go up, at least in traditional stock market demand terms. And then point number three, you've got a little bit of a negative cloud hanging over Rocket. They have a lawsuit going on uh, from shareholders that basically says they insinuated that their earnings were going to be better than they actually were when the earnings report came out. All right, so let's dig into some of the details just to knock the, the lawsuit off here. Uh, this came out on June 29th. And you see the headline, $500 million sale. And let's see, the lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court. District Court claims that Rocket executives were extremely optimistic to the point of deception and fraud earlier this year when forecasting the anticipated gain on sale margin for its mortgage loans. The gain on sale margin is commonly viewed by investors as a core measure of profitability. But once the May 5th release of their earnings showed these margins were shrinking fast, the company's stock price dropped to $19.01 per share from $22.80 per share. Then you scroll down a little bit farther and you see that it's actually the timing of the contracting margins is a key fact because two days before the end of the first quarter, well before the news of the contraction, Gilbert and his wife sold 20 million Rocket shares at $24.75 to net $500 million in proceeds for their neighborhoods initiative. So you could go through a lot of stocks, to be honest with you, and see these kind of lawsuits where uh, they're trying to stack up like speculation uh, by companies and then the results come out and maybe they weren't as good as the speculation. I don't know how far uh, this will get, but I can tell you that typically, uh, historically, a lot of these shareholder lawsuits sort of fall by the wayside or they're spread out across so many shareholders uh, like me, for example, who I have like 290 shares. Like once I went through a class action lawsuit at my level, it's, it's almost not even worth my time. The downer, I guess, is the negative headlines. Plus you have the litigation costs that go into all this and it kind of ties up the headlines for multiple months. We'll see where it lands. Frankly, at my level of 290 shares, 
class action lawsuit isn't going to do a whole lot for me. So I'd rather just see the storm move on. And hopefully that uh, propels rocket stock, at least in an upward trajectory, just by getting rid of the negativity. All right, so let's take a look at some of the fundamentals of rocket and try to speculate where this stock could go from here. See on the screen price today, 1746. This is a one year chart. And over here is the IPO, August 3rd of last year, came in about $25. Uh, I averaged down through a couple dips and I stand at 1980. P ratio last 12 months, 737, so very attractive on that front. EPS of 237, those are all good things, but keep in mind that those are trailing 12 months metrics. So this is where we're getting into the problem with Rocket is these numbers will actually uh, go down for the worse, right? So PE will go up, earnings per share will go down. That's what we have to monitor. Now, the other thing to keep in mind with Rocket Stock is you gotta sort of pay attention to this 10-year uh, treasury number. It's not a one-for-one -one impact on mortgage refinance rates, but it does influence them. And what we've got now is 1.18%. And I put up a year chart. So last year at this time, we were at 0.56%. Uh, you got as high as 1.73. And that was March 15th. And you can see how we've dipped down to 1.17 uh, was yesterday's reading, I believe. And even today, I saw it hit around 1.21. So we definitely want this level to stay down, uh, you know, in this range or maybe only slightly higher because when the mortgage interest rates in general stay down, well, that does spur refinance activity. And what I would say about Rocket here, if you take this March 15th date and you look forward, we're in Q2, right? Which is gonna be April through June, which they're gonna be reporting on here soon. If you think about how those have went back down, I would figure that refinance activity has actually drummed back up because of what we've seen. We've gotten away from the peak, now we're back down. We also know with the housing shortage uh, that the prices were getting bid up quite a bit. There's a lot of people who were maybe uh, hesitant with higher mortgage rates, even though they're not notably higher. Uh, now they've seen them come back down. It might make a couple bucks difference in their monthly payment. So I'm on the bullish end in the sense that this past Q2, which we're gonna report on soon, I think it's gonna be better than expected. That's pure speculation on my part, but that's just me looking at these interest rates and reading news headlines. And I just think that we might have a surprise in the refinance category, which would be good for Rocket Stock. All right, so what are analysts saying here? Here's our earnings estimate, current year 2021. So last year, Rocket hit $4 in EPS. We've got $2 projected for this year and only a buck 54 for next year. So your earnings per share is what calculates your PE. And while Rocket doesn't go up too high at a buck 50, you're still in a world with, you know, let's just call it 15, 10 to 15 on the PE scale, which is nothing, but mortgage companies traditionally do not uh, trade at very high PE levels. Then you go down to revenue estimates and you can see these negatives, right? And this is always gonna show up on investor screens as a company that is sliding, right? So minus 30% revenue estimate this year from 17 billion down to maybe 12 billion. And then next year, maybe down to 10 billion. That's where people are estimating rocket stock right now. And that's why you can't get any traction into the upward phase. All right, so while we're seeing PE and price to sales numbers go up uh, right now for the foreseeable future, which is about a year and a half or so, is about as far as we get with rocket in terms of forecasting. Uh, you still have tremendous value, certainly compared to what a lot of other stocks are offering. 
Keep in mind though that a Rocket PE is going to be a lot different uh, than say an NVIDIA or a Tesla or something like that because those companies have positive growth uh, projected for many, many more years. So when you have positive growth projections on both EPS and revenue side, and sometimes either or, what you typically see is a higher multiple, right? A higher multiple paid for an NVIDIA because the expectation is that they'll keep you know, bringing in all this money and earnings and then that, will, that PE level will go down over the time if you just hold it. Here, you're saying Rocket, if you hold it, your multiple will actually go up because the money's not coming in as quickly. Now there has to be a middle ground somewhere where as an investor you say, you know what, I see perhaps that it is going up. I see that maybe revenues are coming down, but where I sit in my camp personally, I say it's still a good deal, even if they do go down to slightly under $10 million in sales. So I sit on the value side of the rocket argument, which is, hey, things aren't growing from a top and bottom line perspective, but the value proposition for it is very strong. And the other side of the coin for Rocket that not a lot of people talk about is they're growing internally, okay? So they are adding other lines of business uh, where perhaps over time, and when I say time, I mean three to five years, uh, they will be able to extract more profit per contract. If you think about things like title insurance, home uh, value assessments, even car loans, they also recently had an announcement that they're getting into uh, residential solar loans. So these are the kinds of ideas that Rocket is launching and testing almost on an everyday basis. The catch is it doesn't get the headlines because people still don't see it as incremental to the top or bottom lines. They see it that, hey, these guys are losing earnings, aka profitability, also sales are declining uh, just because of the market, the housing market, whereas if I'm going to be a bull, I'm gonna say yes, but the value is there and they're working to add additional lines of business maybe the volume won't come in, but the profitability could go up beyond expectations. All right, let's take a look at tip ranks to see what the best performing analysts think. And it's pretty much a sad story across the board, to be honest with you. Our freshest updates were under a month, 27 days ago or so, and they're just going down. 23, 20, 18, 16, 50, and a 12. Uh, that is two cells for Rocket. So uh, all the things I've mentioned, the analysts are saying the future for this stock is not very bright. So keep that in mind. All right, so what am I going to do with my Rocket shares at 1984? A share, I'm about two bucks underwater. I'm going to hold, uh, and I'm going to hold certainly through this next earnings report, which is really just about a week away. And then in that case, I'm banking on volume, earnings, and revenue being higher than projected. Not sure if it's going to be enough to save this stock from treading more water. But if there's any good news, uh, if you follow any housing segments here, uh, Rocket is far and away the leader in what they do. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom because this is a backwards list. And here at number one, Rocket Mortgage, and here's uh, what I would say is a stock market competitor, United Wholesale Mortgage. Total originations for number two, 560,000 last year. Rocket Mortgage, 1.1 million originations. So they beat everybody uh, from top to bottom on everything they're doing as far as the number of refinance loans, the number of home purchase loans. And what's interesting about the home purchase loans is this isn't even a rocket specialty right now, okay? This is an area of the market that they have identified and you can go back on their earnings call. They want more of this pie. Formerly, they have really focused on refinance. 
Now they're getting into home purchase and it's not gonna happen overnight, okay? But they're really targeting to get in this world too. So the question as an investor is, do you believe they can find the other lines of business? Can they pull more home purchase loans? Can they get into auto lending, which they've started? Can they get more money per contract by bringing certain services in-house and making the application process smoother? This is what you're betting on. All right, so normally through the end of my videos, I usually give a price projection for Rocket, so I feel compelled to do one, even though it's a little difficult with declining EPS and declining revenues, right? But here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that the multiple for Rocket, AKA the PE, actually goes up from a forward standpoint from here, and people are gonna be willing to pay slightly more for the value that Rocket holds as they unlock more and more services. So I'll go on the record and say, Rocket does have the potential to reach between $21 and $25 through this time next year, based almost entirely on technological improvements, process improvements, and profitability improvements. Now, all that being said, this isn't gonna be a smooth path to a stock that 10Xs, right? It's only been on the market for a year. We don't even have enough earnings reports to really track where this wacky world of housing goes. I'm gonna take the over and say the housing market surprises and rocket benefits. However, I certainly understand those that sell because there is other opportunities in the stock market, at least on paper, that could outperform a rocket, some even substantially. There is one X factor that could come into play with rocket and that is a short squeeze or just sort of a meme stock event like we saw in March, the price actually hit $41. Um, honestly, looking back on it, I probably should have sold on that one. And honestly, if that came up again, now that I've held the stock for a year, I'm in long-term capital gains. I've gotten the special dividend they offered. If it hit 40 again by some miraculous event here in the short term, I'd probably take the money. All right, guys, so that's my take on Rocket. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please give a like if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.